I am going to Los Angeles this December and I'm looking for people to collaborate with. I, if you'd like to collaborate with me, I'm looking for YouTubers specifically. Which YouTubers do you want to see me collaborate with? All right, they have to live in Los Angeles and they have to like me and be willing to collaborate with me. A video for my channel, a video for their channel. Hey everyone, it's me, Nick Avocado. Today's a special day. Well, every day is a special day on my channel, okay? And we're happy because we're having a massive Five Guys meal. We're gonna have five guys at once. <laughs> Sorry, is that a good joke to use in my intro? Probably not. Follow my Twitter, at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. Hi everyone, so yes, we have bacon cheeseburgers. We, I'm gonna try the grilled cheese with tomato. We're gonna have a hot dog, french fries. I even ordered a bacon milkshake. And I've, I, you guys know me, I don't really like sweets. I'm like, perfect. I actually was gonna do the banana. I kinda like banana ice cream, banana. I don't, you know, you know, I don't really like sweets, but I'm just like, oh, this could be something different for them to see a little sip of the milkshake and everything. Um, and. I decided to do the bacon because it's like, let's just go home. Let's just go home. Go big or go home. Let's go home while we're big. I'm big in my house. I am a house. We're back home. Shooby doo. We're home. Hello. We're back home. Shooby doo. We're home. Hello. And this is hot and steamy because we're eating five guys. How so high? <laughs> I'm like, ah. Five guys, yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! And I just um, made my order. Orlin's gonna go pick it up for me, so he should be back within, who knows how long, what time is it right now? Yes, it's 2 p.m. And yes, girl, I got off my sleeping schedule. Don't come for me, I know, it's awful. I really wanna go sleep early, wake up early, because it makes me mentally better. But then life gets to me. And then I got so hungry last night. It was like 7-ish. We were winding down for bed, like 6.30. I'm like, all I had today was seafood. I only had like 900 calories today. This body's starving. And seafood tricks you because it's protein. And the protein, like you feel full, but it's a fake full. Let's be real here. You're full, but your brain's like, oh my gosh, what am I running on? Oh my gosh. And I'm just too big. Just to maintain my weight and my height and male, if you do the BMI thing, I need to eat 3,900 calories or 3,800 calories a day just to stay the same without doing exercise. 3,800 or 3,000, I think it was 3,900, we could look it up, but that's a lot. So if you go down to 800, your brain goes crazy and I had a meltdown. I'm like, baby, I need to eat. So he's like, let's just get pizza. So we filmed for his channel, check it out, Orlin Home. Me and him had cheesy pepperoni pizza. We had two large pizzas we ate all of it and we dipped it in cheese and we had the um, jalapeno sauce. Mmm, it was stuffed crust and everything. We also had the deep dish pizza, check it out. Shameless promo for my baby, but, and don't get mad, I'm not taking over his channel. It's just like we're married, like why would I not want to help him make more stuff? Cause, and honestly, he probably should have cheated, but he hasn't cheated for seven days. So if it usually comes down to like once a week, he has something that he's not supposed to. Um, and that's totally fine. He doesn't really feel much effects. He, I mean, he does get an effect, but it's not, you know, gonna kill him if he were to do this every day like me. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of killing, yeah, people on Instagram, they're like, how, how is this man still alive? When I did my, um, I posted this, oh, look at me. Yes, with all my food, I'm so happy. And people are like, well, I made a really funny caption just because I felt like doing something funny. People take me so seriously. I'm just like, can't we laugh? Like, it says, my poop smells like cat litter. And people are like, that's disgusting. Oh, wow, do you think before you speak? And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Instagram. Uh, I just need to start saying I'm an actor or something and then people will be like, ha 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 ha. But I can't say something funny and be myself because then it's not funny. Like, Trailer Trash Tammy can say it, and everyone's like, oh, you know, but if, oh, whatever. Anyways, um, I'm also going to be responding to a bunch of your questions. We got 30,000 um, questions over here on my thing, and I really, really want to um, respond to a bunch, because I did it for my main channel uh, two days ago. You guys saw McDonald's and everything. I know, this is too much talking, but... There's a lot of questions here. I didn't even read. There's just so many. So we're going to be doing that today while we eat five guys. Yeah, I'm so excited. Bacon smoothie. Excuse me. Bacon milkshake. I don't even know what to expect here. Oh, 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 oh. I should have put this in the beginning. Nick, edit this in the beginning. 
Nick, edit this in the beginning. Well, it is the beginning, but we're four minutes in. People are skipping to the food, most likely. Well, actually, not all people. If you're here, thank you. You're a real sloth. <laughs> Literally, like, I'd say 50% of my audience, they skip to the first couple bites, they watch me eat, because they, they're eating, they're waiting, and they're hungry. The other 50% are watching this as background noise while they paint their nails and vacuum and commute to work. They love to hear my talking, so I'm here for both people. But I'm going to edit this in the beginning. Hey, hey, Nick, pay attention. I am going to Los Angeles this December, and I'm looking for people to collaborate with. I don't know if they like me enough to want to collaborate with me. I'm, I don't know if I'm exiled from the YouTube community like this guy is a crybaby. <laughs> like, let's not cry with, let's not collab with a crybaby. But I am a man child, but I still need some fun. Okay, so this Christmas, when it's the time of giving and receiving. That sounds like so much fun. You know, that's what you do during Christmas, and I'm gonna do it with a bunch of people. <laughs> I set myself up for that one, but no, seriously, comment down below if you'd like to collaborate with me. I'm looking for YouTubers specifically, I'm sorry. We did a mukbang with a fan, and I'm going to wait a couple months. I'm actually thinking about going to do another one next time I go to New York, which who knows when that is, but I get so many fan mail from New York City, I'm just like, I should do another, but anyways. Um, which YouTubers do you want to see me collaborate with, alright? They have to live in Los Angeles, and they have to like me and be willing to collaborate with me. A video for my channel, a video for their channel, okay? Two-way, even Stevens. Um, I have a few people in mind. One, two, and three. I have three people in mind. And I want to stay there for about two weeks. Because it's the end of the year, I want to celebrate. Now, I'm not going to be there for Christmas, though. I'm thinking, um, like, the, um, I'm thinking, like, December... Can I add in my head? Originally, it's going to be 10 to the 20th, but that's only 20 days. Oh, wait, no. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 10. Oh, my gosh. 20 minus 10 is 10. You idiot. <laughs> yes, so I need another four days. So, yes, say I go there from the 5th to the 20th. That's 15 days. Let's just say that's two weeks. Yeah. Um, something in that ballpark, um, like... The definitely middle December because I want to come home and be Christmas with Orlin and also that's vlogmas time it's the best time to collaborate it's the best time to keep the channel is exciting because everyone is watching YouTube during December because they're off school, they're off work. Well, maybe not off work, but the kids are off school and they want to see some festivities. It's the best time to collaborate. And um, YouTube rewards you. I'm just so excited. So I really want to, I have three people in mind. I want to get like seven or eight people. So like four or five other people. I can't do math. I hate algebra. Remember I had my meltdown about algebra. I'm just so bad at math. Oh my gosh. Especially mental. Well, all types of math. But anyways, um, so I have three people who said yes. Um, what are the, I mean, yes, they did say yes, basically. And we're going to talk it through, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I'm open to anyone else. I mean, mukbangs, mukbangers would be cool. I'm also opening, I, I'm open to any type of YouTuber, okay? As long as they're they're not mean to me and they like me and they're willing to stuff their face with me because I do mukbangs, okay? Like, that's all I do. I eat and cry. I mean, there's one person I could probably cry with, but then that would be kind of funny. <laughs> like, mukbang crying. <laughs> but anyways, um, so let me know. That's my big announcement. I'm going to stick that in the beginning. Um, so let's, we're going to get to our questions. I'm waiting for my food to get here. So Orlin went to get it. Five guys and I'm happy. Oh, so this thing on my face, remember yesterday, I um, got really sad and I'm so sorry. Also me and Orlin, bit, I didn't address it in the video because I thought I was going to edit it out. But we had like a little in yesterday's video where we were announcing our child, we had like a little bicker backer and it was right before the video and I decided to keep part of it in just to see how we make up and I say, I'm sorry, he says, I love you, well, you're mean. I'm like, well, forgive me, but, you know, I want people to see that it's genuine, it's pure, it's, you don't see enough of that on YouTube. Every, excuse me, as I, as I sit here saying it, let's collab with YouTubers. Um, the next breath I'm going to say, a lot of YouTuber is just, um, a lot of YouTube is just so picture perfect. It's so one-dimensional, and that's fine, but this this is, I I personally enjoy watching people that I connect to on the good and the bad levels, like, wow, they are showing their flaws, like, wow, they're showing up today even though they're not in a good mood, but they still showed up, like, this is real, like, you know, I just, I personally like that, so that's why I do it myself, but anyways, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't dress it, everything was fine, we just had, got a little argument, we don't even fight that much, <laughs> I know it seems like we do. <sighs> But we really, really don't, so 
anyways, um, and we're so excited to come to Los Angeles and I spend time with YouTubers and have happy vlogmas, even though I don't vlog. Mukbang miss, okay, miss. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's really all, all I have to say. Oh, and the thing on my face, my appointment got canceled. I rescheduled it for, what's today? Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday, I'm going to go get this thing looked at. And they're going to, I called them on the phone today and they were just like, because I didn't know if I had to come back. <laughs> Is it gonna hurt? Am I gonna pass out? Is it gonna be, be a procedure? They said they're literally gonna look at it, examine it, diagnose you, and give me medicine. And that's it. So I don't have, um, what do you call it, dermatology insurance. And most insurances don't cover, like general health insurance, they don't cover um, dermatology things. So there's no such thing as a dermat. But she asked me my insurance, that's weird. Was she asking for my health insurance? I should probably call her back. But anyways, um, oh, I have to take this. So, without further ado, let's begin the show. One, two, three. A, ooh, eight inch, that's my pipe. Ride it all night. That's my type. Look at my food, greasy, greasy, greasy. Yeah, and look, my bacon milkshake. Orland's very upset with it. He's like, Nick. Why are you drinking bacon? You're not even supposed to be eating bacon. Now you're drinking, the doctor said no more bacon. And now you're drinking your bacon. I'm like, yeah, but <gasps> oh my gosh, this is such a big burger. Like this weighs a ton. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go right here. Hey, <laughs> I am getting skinnier. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, we are going all out. Oh, my grilled cheese with tomato. We got a lot of napkins. Oh yeah, Oh, and we got my hot dog. And I got my two things of mayonnaise they remembered, yay. I'm a returning customer, okay. They know I need my mayonnaise or the food don't go down. And then this one is french fries. French fries, Oh, can we, oh, look at that Cajun sauce. It's all over, Oh, oh yes. And then there's french fries all in here. And on my ketchups, we got four ketchups. Ketchup or ketchup, what do you say? And then I have a bag full of fries. Oh my goodness, yes! Hey, 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 right in here. Ooh, I should start dancing like my sister. Remember our collab from last week? And she taught me how to belly dance? I looked like a hippo though, but here, I look like a less, less of a hippo right now. Ooh, we're making room for this. Making room for my cheeseburgers. Making room for this hot dog. And it's gonna go in here. Are you ready, little sloths? <sighs> Hold on, man, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Are you ready for the show? Here we go, one. <laughs> I'm joking, you guys. People take me so seriously. I'm breathing just fine. One, two, three. Bam! Oh my God! These Cajun fries are off the hook. Mmm, oh, I was gonna do our deep breaths. People keep emailing me, and DMing me, commenting to me that they like my deep breaths. So let's do it together before we begin. All of your struggles, your fears, your worries, life can be abyss. It could be a betch. Life, seriously, is so stressful. We all have our own meltdowns. We all fight those battles in our heads. We all have so much anxiety about things. At least, am I speaking for myself? Maybe I'm the one that just has issues. I don't know. This is how I feel. So let's breathe in and out together. I'm going to put this down slightly so you can see me breathing. To, to know that I'm still alive while eating this. <laughs> All seriousness though, let's do it, okay? We'll do it together. Don't make me look like a fool breathing in and out by myself, okay? Let's do it together. Breathe in those struggles. Think of them and release them. Breathe in those problems, those a-holes, the family members who give you grief and say, I forgive you. <sighs> One last time. 
Really mean it now. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, and I'm here for you, okay? And I'm here for you every day. You can always count on Nikocado Avocado to show up, rain or shine, because I know that we need each other, okay? So cheers to that. Cheers, I will be drinking water because this bacon milkshake is gonna make me thirsty. Let's begin. Let's have my first reaction. I just got a little chunk of bacon. I took, oh my God. Oh my God. Orlin got, so, we're gonna dip our fries in here. Orlin got very mad at me. He's like, why would you do that to yourself? He's like, they don't even know what you're drinking. Why do you have to drink the bacon? The doctor said no more bacon. I'm like, I rarely eat bacon. Just don't, t just don't tell the doctor. <laughs> All right, so let's begin with my grilled cheese because this looks amazing. Oh, I got my mayo, two kinds of cheese, and I have tomatoes. Oh, it looks golden. It looks perfect. Cheers, everyone. Here we go. Bye. I'm supposed to be answering your questions in this video. Bye. <laughs> Mmm, hot sauce. That's what's dripping. I'm like, this is one leaky tomato. Uh-uh, that's hot sauce. That is how you do grilled cheese sandwiches. Cheesy with hot sauce. With tomatoes. Mmm. I ate it all. <laughs> I scarfed that thing down. It's gone. Girl, bye. Okay. Let's see what you guys are asking, man. In all seriousness, oh my god, I feel so much... That was good. <clears throat> These Cajun fries are very Cajun-y. Okay, let's see the questions you guys want to know. Look at all these questions. We're going to go by newest first because I probably didn't see everything. Why? Well, I know I didn't see anything. <clears throat> Do you still mate? This comes from Franco. Um, yes, actually two days ago, Orlin stuck it in by surprise. And I took it like a champ. Mm. Oh my God. Bacon. Mm. I took it like a champ. There was no problems. I was clean. It was by surprise. Now that's kind of dangerous. Mmm, Cajun. Mmm. How? Shout out to Giovanni. He says, "How much do you weigh?" I weigh two seventy. I lost five pounds from my treadmill. I've had it for five days. Mmm. This has hot sauce too. Mmm, that's some good sausage. Oh my god, we have to get my mayo. Yeah, 270. You're a chubby bunny. Thank you, um, Jen. How many mukbangs do you a day? Do a day. Hi Grace. I usually do one. Um, sometimes two, because I have other channels. I was a guest on Orleans channel last night. Don't forget, I'm looking for guests for my YouTube channel. Let's do this big one. Oh, barbecue. Oh my God, this is going to be so messy. This is going to be so, so messy. Oh, I have to stand up to get it out of here. <gasps> oh. 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 Five guys. You're going to put me in my grave. I'm going to have to eat like this. Here we go. Oh, oh.
Mmm. Yeah, I'm looking for people to collab with in Los Angeles in December. So let me, ooh, jalapeno spicy. Mm. Let me know in the comments who you think I should collab with. Tell them to contact me, send me an email. I'm looking for some collabs. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'll buy whatever food they want. Ooh. How else are you supposed to eat this? It has to be messy. Oh my God. <laughs> this did not taste this good in Pennsylvania, which I'm shocked by. I did Five Guys for the first time with Orlin. Oh my God, that's good. In Pennsylvania, and remember the guy, see, you never forget customer service. You never forget the people who serve you. The man at my local Five Guys in Philly had the worst attitude. Blonde hair, and his manager had, she looked like a bug. Her eyes were very big. You don't forget these people. <laughs> and he was so skimpy on the sauce, and I had to ask, I got extra sauce, put more extra. He's like, this is extra. I'm like, that's not enough. And I had a fight with that. This is how you do a Five Guys burger. But, excuse me. That is how you do it. It's kind of... Bad for the Five Guys company because they want everything to be good and delicious. <gasps> oh my god. Can we talk about this? <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Wow. You know you want. Oh, my milkshake is going to bring all the boys to the club. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 That bacon is phenomenal. I'm on cloud nine. This is truly amazing. Next question. Do you eat healthy food? Yes, I do, Sarah. Every day. My cholesterol is actually perfect because I'll tell you a secret. Doctors don't even tell you this. They're not really that trained in nutrition. A dietitian would be the one to go to. Not even a nutritionist, a dietitian, or just Google. Google tells you a lot more than what doctors tell you. Doctors want to give you cholesterol pills and stuff, which is good. I mean, do it. But if you can do it naturally, I think that might be even better. And a little bit. Sometimes. Not all things. As I drink my bacon, my bacon milkshake. I eat sardines every day, sometimes twice a day, religiously, rain or shine. I just ordered a flat from Walmart. A flat of sardines. Okay. I'm the sardine man. They will lower your bad cholesterol and raise your good cholesterol. They will protect your heart like nothing else because of their omega-3s. Salmon, kind of, but... Well, salmon too, but salmon's so expensive. Sardines are cheap. Hold your nose, get through them. I enjoy them now. Five servings of fruit and vegetable a day. Five. Five. Mine are usually this. Cabbage, broccoli, avocado, berries, and walnuts. Those are my five. Sometimes I don't have walnuts and I'll have extra cabbage. Or sometimes I'll have two avocados so I skip the berries. Avocados are proven to lower cholesterol, even on the worst of diets. Last studies about that. Back cholesterol goes down eating avocados. Anyway, can you please do a day in the life? Oh, hey Grace, that's a great idea. There's a ex mukbanger who used to do them, or she did one of them that I really enjoyed. This is so wobbly, my milkshake. It's gonna make all the boys to the yard. Mmm. <laughs> Bacon, bacon this up. 
Yeah, would you guys like to see what it's like in the day in life in Nikocado? I feel like it wouldn't be allowed on YouTube though. I do a lot of naughty stuff. I'm gonna have to put it on a different website. I mean, if you want the truth. <laughs> this food makes things activated all day long, I'm telling you. Mmm. Mmm. It's the truth. Actually, right before I started eating, I was playing around. And I said to Orlin, I'm like, because Orlin was here. I can't say much because we're eating, but plain. And um, I said to him, I'm like, this is all content. <laughs> I looked at him like, we should just have a camera here and just be filming this. He's like, well, you have to be comfortable showing everything. I'm like, this is content. This is crazy. People have no idea. They don't need to know. You are a clout chaser. Yes, I am, Amelia. It looks like it's time to stop the mukbangs. No, it's not. <clears throat> Excuse me, Nick, you're adorable. Thank you, C-Vamp. Um, I'm scrolling down these comments, and I'm just kind of thinking to myself, why are these people that don't even know you telling you how to be? And... They're not even worried about your health. They're just picking at you. Seriously, it's not called for and seriously ridiculous. Hi, Kieran is a... Ooh, that's a bad name. <laughs> Some of your in, your Instagram handles are bad. F-A-G? I'm not saying that word. Oh. My. God. Five guys? <clears throat> Come through right now. Come through. I don't even say that. Come through. This is a Five Guys sandwich. This is a Five Guys burger. I feel so bad for Orlin. His first time was not this good. It was not. That mean boy from Five Guys. I should call and complain. <laughs> oh my. Well, Kieran. Some people might be worried. Some people not, might not care, but they say it because you're right. It gives them something to talk about. Um, I just don't listen to it. I know I'm good. Look at this. I'm healthy. Mmm. <laughs> Life is exciting. How many subs do you want by the end of the year? Hi, Haley. I don't care about subs. I care more about reaching people. I care more about the, st the stability of breaking bread, so to speak, with you every day. Subs is just a number. I know people with 5 million subs that get less views than me. I know people with less subscribers than me that get more views than me. And they're selling products, and they're making change, or they're making people inspired to be happy. I just, subs is just a number. Have you ever been to Puerto Rico? No, I haven't, Eva Lise. I would love to one day. Puerto Rican men, ooh. That's my type. Eight inches, that's a good pipe. Right it, I'm a bad this all night. Ooh, mm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. The darker, the better. Maybe did the shower rug fall, or did you put it down? I Oh, yeah. I tried to put on the curtain thing, and then I realized I didn't need to take it down to put on the curtain. Oh, uh, yeah. You just... Okay. I thought it fell. What do you have to do? Screw... Tighten it? No, no. I thought it fell. It's okay. It's fine. No, I put it like that, because I, I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. This is so fun. Yeah? Yeah? Your, your Five Guys experience was terrible compared to this. I'm telling them. I need to be with another Five Guys. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Only I'm the one who can cheat in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you can be with Five Guys? Hmm? You can be with Five Guys? I've never been with Five Guys. Just three? At once. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what was I? Orlin, yours was not this good. Like no. this, let me take a bite for you. Here. Look at this. Yours was not this good. 
Yours is not this good. Mm, it's good. <clears throat> mm, I'm gonna go drink my banana smoothie. <laughs> what is this one? Mm. Oh, what's in there? Everything. Fried onions, bacon, mushrooms. <laughs> no mushrooms, I'm joking. Mm. I don't eat mushrooms. I try to get you excited. You know mm -hmm. mushrooms. I like the mushroom burger from Wendy's. You will, because I was telling him how upset I was. At, remember I told you that boy? He went for the extra sauces. And I fight with him. Oh. It's very uncomfortable. Where, five guys? At my parents' house in Philly. Wow. Oh. oh my. Ugh. <sighs> telling you, you don't forget these things. <laughs> Are you gonna do some more tea videos? Hi, Janus. Um, I really shouldn't be drinking this. We're gonna go on the treadmill together after this, okay? Um, what was I gonna say? I, there is one I want to do, and I decided it's not worth it. There's another one. I feel like doing it. It's gonna come out tomorrow. I have to film it tomorrow. Let's hope I do it. <laughs> Are you gonna make mukbang of you eating healthy? Not trying to be rude. Answer me back. Hi, Josie. I don't think you're being rude. The answer is no. I'm not gonna film myself eating healthy. That's boring. You don't watch those, so why should I do it? <laughs> I eat healthy off camera every day. Ooh, speaking of, um... I want to read you a texting combo between me and a former friend. Excuse me, but no, we're still friends. Let me read it to you. It was through, um... Here we go. It's from someone that I knew in my past many, many years ago. I was a vegan at the time. I was really into music. I was traveling around between South Carolina and Georgia and New York playing for the MAC Cosmetics is when I started talking to him. He's gay too, like me. Oh, I've talked about this person. It's anonymous. I'm not going to say his name. It could be anyone. Don't, don't pretend like you know. You don't know. But remember I told you the story. I'll tell you really quick. <clears throat> he and I used to talk kind of flirtatious back in the day. He was vegan too. And then we stopped talking in 2013-ish. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, or... Yeah, it was 2019. It was like eight months ago. They began in 2019. I got reconnected with him again. And he stopped being vegan. I stopped being vegan. <clears throat> he was really, really bony. And now he looks so fit. He has great... Oh, I don't want to say it on YouTube. You know those V-lines... A man, like, a man when he pulls down his swimming trunks, not all the way, but just enough where the bone's popping out. It's it's that musk, muscles that makes a V-shape. My boyfriend used to, my ex-fiance used to call them beep gutters. <laughs> yeah, he has those. He looks hot. I was like, wow, you look good. And he looked at me and he was like, wow, you changed a lot too. I'm like, this big. And then he told me. I have a, um, a feederism kink. I need to be careful because YouTube's listening. He enjoys watching people get bigger. He turns them on, he feeds other guys. Gainers and stuff, it's a whole community. Thou millions of people are into that. I'm really not though, like I'm not trying to gain weight. I'm, it's just a side effect of what I do. Um, I'm enjoying the ride. I like, well, besides the double chin, I don't care about the belly. My down there got thick too. It's like, beep. <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually woke up this morning. Hey guy, well, girls watch this. You know, how, well, girls, you know your man in the bed, he wakes up. There's something called morning. Knock on wood. <laughs> it's just, and that's all we, I woke up this morning. I was like, wow. It was like, like I went like this and my thing, when you stretch your fingers out the longest, it couldn't, people are always asking me to measure and I'm like, I don't know, I never measure, I don't care, it's just a number. <clears throat> but I went, like this is as far as I can spread my, spread my fingers. From the tip, the base to the tip, there's still this much left. I couldn't even do it all. 
Orlin, can you bring me the tape measure? We're gonna have to measure my size for you. This is, I went like this, I'm like, I can't even do it all. Cause I told you guys how it kind of shrunk a little bit since um, gaining 100 pounds. And um, it did, it's because I have like a, um, <laughs> what do you call them, um, fat pad, fupa. You know, that's got it, so it kind of swallowed up a little bit, you know, the base. It's still large and in charge though, I'm just like, wow. Orlin! We should measure on camera, this would be really funny. Hey baby! Orlin! Anyways, I'm going like this. How long is this? It's probably average. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been like crazy eight, nine. Those are crazy. It's always been a little bit above average, but it's just the thickness. I can't even put my whole thing around it. It's like this. But anyways, um, so what was I gonna say? I don't even know why I told you this. Wow. Not for kids in this video. Why am I saying this to you? Oh, I was talking about my body changes. Yeah. Oh, the seafood yesterday. Every time I eat seafood, it's always just crazy, like popping them. What does we love doing every day off camera? <laughs> oh my gosh, like the seafood. That's what it was. Anyways, we had talked. He said he was into like the bigger guys. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. He's like, are you into that? I'm like, no, I just eat it for a living. So he liked it. He sent me some flirtatious photos. He's like, oh yeah, my boyfriend thinks I look cute in this. Do you think I look cute? I'm like, yeah, you look cute, whatever. I actually showed Orlin. Orlin read all the texts. He's like, wow, this guy wants to feed you and stuff you in many different ways. And I'm like, yep. So anyways, yesterday he reached out to me out of nowhere. I haven't talked to him for a couple of months. And he says, I'm really concerned for you. I want it just threw me back. I was like, what? He says, um, I said, oh, how are you doing? He goes, I'm good. I said, how's work? He's like, Oh yeah, I'm doing great things. Meanwhile, you make money off of glorifying obesity. And I'm like, How, why would you say that? I'm just thinking like, so I responded, yeah, strange world, ha ha ha, but anyways, what you up to? He goes, I'm good, great actually, but I need to ask how you are. I'm sorry, but I don't like this consumer version base of you. I mean, no offense, I work on making people walk and train and uh, walk less. Oh yeah, he does some kind of um, subway stuff. Subway work. I, I work on making people take trains and walk walk more. And you make tons of money sitting around glorifying obesity through mukbang. And I'm like, it's a job for now. I always tell my viewers I'm quitting when I'm 30, but I'm enjoying myself. And he goes, that's effing stupid. And by this time, I called my husband to the room. I'm like, do you remember Beep? I'm not gonna say his name. Do you remember Beep? I'm like, he's like, yeah, the feeder. I'm like, yeah, remember how much he loved my image? Now all of a sudden I'm disgusting, glorifying obesity. He's like, what? And I showed him, he's like, oh yeah, he's probably just having a pissy mood. Anyways, I'm like, let me, let me just see what else he says. And I says, I'm probably gonna do an ep epic transformation at a healthier size in the future. <clears throat> and he goes, oh, I said, I'm enjoying the ride and my chubby body along the way. I don't like my double chin, LOL, but I don't care about the body, I'm having fun, why does it matter? And he says, I used to be a fit, you used to be a fit vegan violinist. No one's asking you to be that again, but you can't doing what you're doing because you're killing yourself. And I'm like, meanwhile, you tell me like you're going off to people's houses and like putting funnels into them and shoving ice cream down in there. And it's like, well, what about those people killing him? Like you're participating in it. Like I'm just eating my, I'm not making anybody do anything. I remember telling a reporter this, um, the lady from the Associated Press, yes, I was in the Associated Press, wrote an article about mukbang. They're like, don't you feel guilty you're encouraging people to eat bad food? And I said, no, I'm not. She goes, what do you mean? I said, first and foremost, just because you see something doesn't mean you're gonna get it. Doesn't always work like that. Second of all, this costs money. Most people aren't gonna blow $40, $50 on a massive amount of food just because they saw Nick Akato eat it on YouTube. They have to budget it according to their family households. They might have cheat days once a week. They're not gonna change because they're watching it. Thirdly, I'm not the only pe person advertising fast food. You see it on the billboards, you see it on the news, you see it in the newspapers, you see it in magazines, you see it in hospitals for crying out loud. There are some hospitals that have McDonald's inside they're right, right when you come out from surgery, boom, Big Mac and fries. Literally, there's hospitals that have McDonald's inside their buildings. 
At schools, you have pizza parties and people are bringing candy. I mean, we just had Halloween. This world likes junk food. They don't need me to tell them that. So the world will consume junk food with or without me. Period. That's number three. Number four, a lot of my viewers are teenagers, young adults, 20, I'd say like 24 to 28 is my biggest demographic besides the middle-aged women. 24-year-old kids are in school, broke AF, going to the cafeteria. Unless I'm handing them money to do this too, they're not going to do it. Fifthly, <laughs> most people like to watch me eat the food that they know they can't or shouldn't eat because they know what it does to them. This isn't rocket science. This is, I, I told this all on the phone to the lady. I'm like, this isn't rocket science. It's like, you know it's bad. A lot of people watch me eat it for them. So they get the pleasure of viewing that consumption. They know it tastes delicious and it's very stimulating. But they also remember how they feel afterwards where it's like, hmm, you know, I'm trying to look good for my wedding photos or mm, summer's coming around, I gotta fit my bikini. Do you think I'm wearing my bikini anytime soon? No, I'm not. I don't care how big my bikini is or how it fits because I'm not, I stay inside all day. <laughs> like, so anyways, I'm just like, he says, I'm encouraging everyone to do bad things. I'm like, we are surrounded by temptations as people. We are every day on Twitter, on the news, at school, driving to the emergency room. You're gonna pass five signs for the brand new Popeye's chicken sandwich that's made with GMO and chemicals and every trans fats. It's like, they don't need my help, okay? I'm just doing what I enjoy and people can watch or don't watch. There's no making anyone do anything. And I don't feel like I have that much influence in terms of making people eat this because it comes down to, unless I'm handing them the money, not much is gonna change. People need money. Okay, you know what I mean? I talked about this with, with I talked about this with Be Love Life, and she goes, "That's absolutely right." <laughs> you know that meme on Twitter? That's absolutely right. <laughs> you know, like she's like, "I'm eating expensive seafood. People want seafood more. People are buying the sauce and doing seafood mukbangs. But are they doing it every day too? Because they saw me do it? No, they're doing it once a month, and they're going to be excited about it because they see me do it. But unless you're handing them the king crab legs, they're not going to blow two hundred dollars on crab legs just because they saw it one day on the internet. It, you know, it's not realistic to say that. <clears throat> and then I said, okay. And he goes, I had orthorexia. I'm telling you, you are going to die young. And I said, I thought you liked chubby. He says, I do, but I don't like mukbang like you. And I don't think you look healthy doing it, it. And then I said, so people who are purposely gaining weight look healthier than me? Question mark. And he goes, you do it for public consumption. See, he didn't answer the question. You do it for, it was so accusatory. It was in the middle of the night. It was like 12 a.m. You do it for public consumption. I get that it looks odd, but I support long-term gainers because, they, because I have a macro fetish. And you're just out there in public YouTube sphere. And I'm thinking like, what's the difference? So this is what I said. Well, how are gainers different? Do they gain weight but with a life purpose? And he responded, you literally spend your nine to five eating fast food in front of a camera for money. So it came to a point now, this guy is just picking on me and it could be jealousy. I do get to eat food for a living. There's a lot of pros and cons. There's a lot of cons to this whole thing as we're talking about health and weight gain. And, you know, I just bought a treadmill. I'm on my treadmill eating nasty ass sardines twice a day to keep my cholesterol good. Like, there's cons as well, but I love what I do. I love, like, what does this have to do? How does this affect your life, man? So I thought it came out of like a, um, and then I didn't respond. And then as he was typing, he said, I'm sorry, I shouldn't get like this. It's a double standard. I think the YouTube part is what's turning it off for me. I'm like, man, don't watch anything on YouTube. You see people pranking that they got married to cardboard boxes. You see people pranking that they had a divorce and making the kids cry. You see people pranking that they got their house robbed into. You see people cutting their hair for views. You see people eating top, top pod tides, Tide Pods for views. You see people like me eating food for views. I mean, it, man, just don't look at the internet because YouTube's full of people cries for attention. <laughs> and this is what I told him. <clears throat> I said, oh, he says this. 
Here, this, I asked him. I said, I'm trying to figure out what the difference is between me and a gainer. What, because I make money from it and they don't? Is that why I'm all, all of a sudden awful? He goes, it's about the pleasure from the size gain. You clearly don't like it. Most people who gain like it. You just have to cry for attention. Said it with love. And this is what I said to him. I said, all YouTubers like attention. But let me tell you, most won't admit it to your face. That's true. That's the point of being on YouTube. You get followers. Do you gain followers to not be viewed or seen? Do you put your energy onto a space that is public so that no one sees you? The point is you want to be seen. You want people to talk about you. You want people to have reactions to you. That you want people to think of you and to follow you. That's the point of putting yourself out there. Everyone on YouTube likes attention. And they try to sit there and don't, and, mm, I'm just a regular guy, I don't like attention, I just, no. No, 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 regular guys don't eat, film themselves and edit and put on the, <gasps> if you're on YouTube, you enjoy the attention. That's just, it's just common sense. You don't become an actor so that you can be in movies that no one watches. You want your movie to do well and to be seen. Uh, I know this is kind of passive aggressive. I'm just thinking of some, actually some mukbangers out there, I'm not gonna say who just, no, I don't like attention. I don't know. No, I'm just... No. Oh, Nikocado's attention-seeking. I'm like... You stuff your pie hole for a living. What are you talking about? You're no different than me. I'm dramatic, but at least I'm honest. Bitch. <laughs> like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, just be honest. You have nothing to lose. People are not going to like you less because you admit it. That's what they're afraid of. They don't want. They don't want to admit it because they think people are going to stop watching them. Oh, so and so likes attention. Let's not watch her. They're already watching you. Some people like to watch people who like attention. Yeah. And then he says, "Are you happy being married?" I said, "Yes, I am. My husband is very sweet. He's very selfless, and he gives the best head." LOL. And then he sent me a nude, and then I stopped. It was the weirdest conversation. And I just, I don't understand. I told Orlin, I'm like, I don't, did I do something wrong lately? He's like, you've always, what you've done on YouTube now, you've done since you started. Like, man, just, it was like a, came out of a far left swing. I. Far corner, far, far, I don't want to say far left, this is not political, far far right, far left, no. Anyways, let's go back to my post of me walking on the treadmill. Because I love attention. I have an Instagram account that I take photos of myself because I love people to look at myself. Oh, uh, people just, I think... Society says it's a bad thing to have attention or to enjoy the spotlight. People say, society says that says there's something wrong with you. No, it doesn't. Some people are meant to be stars, honey. Some people are meant for the camera. They live for the applause. That's just how some people are. It doesn't mean something's bad or something's wrong. And just because you don't have the balls to do it doesn't mean I shouldn't either. Let me take your spot, boo. Get out the way. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, <clears throat> what made you want to stop being vegan? I've answered this a million times. It was for health reasons. Yes, it's ironic that I, I now I don't care about my health at all. But, well, actually I do. I mean, if I truly did, I wouldn't do this. But you know what I mean? I make effort off camera to make sure that everything is good internally. So I'm not um, clueless. I'm not naive about it. I know... Top five guests for dinner, dead or alive. David Archuleta. I actually would want a private dinner with him in a private room. Oh, I love him. He's just the most adorable thing. I look at him and I just get shivers down my spine. I'm like, oh. And then he sings. He has made me sob. One of my meltdowns in um, New York City, when I was eating that seafood, I was crying, remember, on the toilet? You saw that video, right? Because I played Instagrams of a song of him singing a cappella. Oh, I can sing it right now. Oh, that's not how the song goes. <laughs> oh, he's just everything of it. Oh, sorry, Orlin. It's okay. We can all. I 
People always ask me my celebrity crush, and I'm just, I have more followers than him though, right now, so. <laughs> he was a former American Idol contestant. He made it down to the top two back like 12, 15 years ago when American Idol kind of first started. I was in like uh, eighth grade, ninth grade. Yeah, boo. And uh, I'm allowed to have my celebrity crush. And I always say when people ask me, oh, I don't have one. I don't really worship anyone. I don't worship him. I don't even check his page daily, to be honest. He doesn't post that much. But every time I look at his page, I get very, very, it's like this adorable cuteness affection. It's also, yes, I want to do everything to him, but it's also just like, I want to hold you and take care of you because he looks so precious. <laughs> uh, and um, he says he's not gay. I know people ask him all the time. All the gays think he's gay. It's people with radar, gay, gaydar think he's gay. I think he's gay, but he's Mormon. So there's that. And I mean, it's it comes down. Sexuality is a very complex thing. You can't look at someone and say, "Oh, you are this." Definitely, he could be both, and it could be a different percentage: 30, 50, 80, 20, 70, 50, 10. I can't do math, but you know what I mean. You don't know where the line is from gay or straight or bi. You don't. It's a complex thing. I don't know. I just love him. Okay, so he's at my dinner table. This comes from Katie B. Judge Judy, my girl. Um. Mariska Hargitay from Law & Order SVU. There are two more people. I should get some composers or some something music in there. Um, see, I don't... The, the thing about the composers is I'm really into people that I can look and view and see and watch movies and... Have you noticed all three people are mentioned are in the public... Public... Uh, what you call it? Media. Their platform. Listen, they like attention too. They don't go on American Idol, so no one knows who they are. Boo. You like attention. Remember my breakdown? I was like, I like attention. I like attention. I like attention. Boo. Hibbity hoo. It's true. But I had the balls to say it. And then people don't like me for my honesty. And then people say I'm not honest. I'm like, what are you talking about? I lie like every other YouTuber. Oh. I don't care about views. Like, eat with Q, what'd she say? I remember why I started my YouTube channel. It was to change the world. Oh. Oh my God, I just lost my appetite. Your shirt is everything. I love your shirt. Oh, thank you, Courtney. Out of one out of 10, what is your, you and Orland's relationship? Oh, I'd say a 9.87. Very, very, very good. What is the best food you've ever eaten? Well, right now, this. Gosh, I'm not even eating. <laughs> you need mental help. I do. I know. I've been unmedicated now. I haven't had medicine for a very, very long time. I've had my Zoloft. I've had my Concerta. I've had my Adderall. I've had my Ritalin. I've had my therapy. I've had my counseling. I was put on antidepressants when I was six I do need mental help, man, but I don't feel like paying for it. Mmm. 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 <clears throat> How are you able to eat so much? Will you do this for life? Till I'm 30, that's what I said. Two more years. Hmm. Why do you invest so much of your headspace worrying about other people's opinions about you? Wow. I didn't know people could read my mind. That's pretty crazy. Wow. To know how much real estate's in my head must mean that you can see it. That's pretty crazy. I would love to read people's minds. Can you, I should respond. Tell me where you learned, where you got that um, technology from. In all seriousness though, I like talking about people, it's fun. It doesn't take up too much space in my head. I'd say it's no different than other people who like, I mean, you're you're on my page. Why am I taking real estate in your brain, shibidoo? 
You know, it's like we everyone likes to think about everyone. That's kind of how it is. And I'm not investing. I'm not putting any money down for a lot of these people, okay? No money coming out of my bank. No investments. Um, so here we go. Since 30 is fast approaching, what are your plans after mukbang? I am going to be a TV host. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll keep doing it. I'll do healthy mukbangs and the views will go down, but I won't care because I'm happy. I don't know. We'll do something. There might be a new trend out there that is perfect for me. It involves talking. It involves being sassy. It involves being honest and speaking your mind. That is perfect for me. Talk show. People do like my voice. Oh, I could do podcasts. Charge people a monthly fee, five bucks or whatever it is, five, ten dollars. Or they do that through Apple, don't they? I might do podcasts. I could do reactions. People love my... People love my reactions. I could sit and react to everyone every day. I'm telling you that there is at least 100,000 views per video on that. People love that stuff. I'm not too worried about it. It will come to mind and come to my heart. And yes, it's fast approaching, but two and a half years is a long time. Um, when are you going to come to California? Hi, Live Long Joker. Actually, in December. I'm going to be there for about two weeks. I have to buy my flights today, actually. Oh, what's today? What? Oh, it's a good time to buy. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are good time to buy. What would you like to get for your birthday, wink face? Ooh. Well, hello, Mario. Let's see what you look like. <laughs> oh. Well, since you asked. Thanks, you asked. Wink, and he winked it. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> he DM'd me. Oh. Shh. Don't tell Orland. He doesn't watch my videos, so he'll never know. Well, Mario. Um, let's see, let's go to another question. Nick, you look so skinny, I love you. Oh, thank you, Ellen. Please shout me out. Hi, Kaylin, shout out to you. Um, how did you get to know and meet Honey? This comes from Esther. I met her in person for the first time in Los Angeles in her place, almost like a year ago. And I came to know her just because we do the same thing. I mean, it would be pretty stupid to act like I don't know who she is, you know. Every mukbanger knows every mukbanger. And for them to act like I don't know her is kind of stupid because there's only how many of us? Ten? In terms of like the big mukbang channels. There's so many little ones out there that are coming up and everything. And I, it's hard to keep track of all them. But the, the main ones, and I know that sounds pretty awful. Like why are you considered main? If you're just talking about the channel size and the longevity of it. You know, they made their channel four years ago. You know, everyone, they're going to be more known and recognized. So, I knew, honey, I remember, um, I was in Thailand when I first started watching her, I think. My first video of her ever was the Panda Express one, I think. And I emailed her 2016. I sent her an email. I'm like, because she had a microphone and I never had a microphone. I just used the same camera. Hello. And um, I asked her, I said, what kind of mic is that? And she sent me a link and said, this is where I got it. Good luck or something. And, you know, sweet. She didn't have to tell me. I, I've emailed many YouTubers that don't respond. She didn't have to respond, but she did. That was pretty cool. And we never really talked, though. I knew of her. She knew of me. I actually did one of her challenges. Like, for... Oh, my God. Hi. I don't even know what I was talking about until it cut off. I think it was probably something inappropriate. But Orlin just got here. He changed the camera battery, which is why I shut off. And look what he brought. Measuring tape. Okay, so this morning, you were still sleeping. I, I put this at the base and this all the way up. And it went to a little bit. So put it at the base here. This is how big I am. There. Right there. Six yeah. and a Six and a half. No, I think so. Seven. No, look, six, and then up to here, 6.7-ish, 
six point seven. It used to be like here. I know. It used to be like eight or nine. No, it was probably like seven point eight. I don't, was it eight? It was eight. It was not eight. I'm gonna leak that video. I have it was years. not eight. That's ginormous. Remember that video? Said that's how the song goes. Eight inch pipe. That's that's too big to go in my eye. Ooh, eye, eye. Ouch. That's my, how the song goes. That's my type. <laughs> that's my type. Big inch, eight inch. They probably that, recognize that it ain't now. right. That uh -huh. ain't right. That was probably copyrighted. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Because there's no uh, tune. So if you just speak it, it's rap. It's the same thing. You better edit it out. Oh, I don't know. Why well, change all the words? Mm -hmm. I went, I, I, ouch, ouch, don't put it in too tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eight inch, that too tight. Um, so yes, so what am I in Orland? I'm six and a half right now, but I used to be seven and a half. Yeah, I've lost an inch. A whole inch, yeah. Yeah, because mine and yours are about the same length nowadays. <laughs> no. Yeah. If I'm like halfway there and I'm floppy, then yeah. But not full horsepower. Mine's not three inches. It's, who said anything about three? You said if I'm halfway there. <laughs> me, me, if I'm like half, oh. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I don't mean halfway there. I mean, <laughs> I mean like. I don't have a mic. It's not as like. No. If I see through it, we put them together. We put them together in PA, mine was longer. Yes, but that's because I was, ha I was having erectile dysfunction. <laughs> That's what we were laughing about. It got to just dysfunction from all the ramen. <laughs> yeah, certain foods make it shrink. I'm no, just saying. Ramen, bye bye, dick. <laughs> you want to kill your pee pee? Eat ramen. You want to grow it? Eat meat, eat seafood. Um, <clears throat> just meat in general really gets it. Woo. So, yes, I am six and a half. Um, I'm technically seven and a half, but it's buried right now under a pillow of fat. But it's still there. It'll come back when I lose weight. Oh, I love these questions. I love this game. I love my life. Okay. Next question. I'm not eight inch, though. I'm seven and a half. Orlin wants to leak. Orlin has so much he could leak. I could leak myself. Listen. I like attention. If I need more money, I'm going to leak it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna have a professional job. It's kind of too late. Okay, <gasps> do you miss being skinny? Hi, May. Uh, sometimes. I don't know. I don't miss being bony. I don't miss being how I started my mukbang channel. That's too skinny. I would like a good 20 pounds, 25 pounds above where I started. So I think 190, 200, 210, that's a good range. I'm 270, 275. So we've gained 80, 90. Well, we gained over 100, but you guys know I was kind of underweight-ish. Uh, Nick, you're so... Mm, I don't want to say that. Can I say the word sexy? Okay, I just said it. Nick, you're so sexy. I literally... Oh, hi, Bethany. It's not Below's Life, Bethany. It's a different bet. Bethany, 57132. 1342. Um, next question comes from... Let's see. Do any other fruits taste... Do you like any other fruits than avocados? This comes from Jen. Yes. I like lots of different fruits. I used to live off fruits. Um, do you actually like cheese or do you just say it? This comes from Alexander. Um, I actually love cheese. Um, I love cheese. It's delicious. What's the name of your second chin? I have no... Oh, we call it Mama. Always there, always looking out for... Oh, is that my rash? That's my stupid, I need to go to the dermatologist. Oh, I'm going on Thursday. Um, yes, we call it my mama. Always there, always watching, can't get rid of her. My mama. Also because Orlean used to say I look like Mama June, and you're like, wow, what a nice husband. And he said, oh, you look like Mama June. Cause I'd be like, good morning, baby. And be like, ribbit, ribbit. Be like, hey, little Mama June in the house, Mama June. I'm, you're so rude. <sighs> He was just trying to be funny. But yeah, we call her mama because of that reference and also because can't get rid of her. Um, when did you realize you were gay? This comes from Zayn Evolution. By the way, I love your channel. You're super cute. Thank you. Um, hi, Zayn. Um, oh, you think I'm cute? I realized I was confused for a long time. I had thoughts of it by 7th, 8th grade. Um, 
I don't know. I think I was very confused because I remember when I was in seventh grade, I used to take, um, you know, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing stories. I used to take the advertisements that came in the mail. You know, on Sundays we had the ads for clothing, for electronics. I loved reading Best Buy and Target. I love seeing those ads. What's on the sale? I never bought anything. Again, it's like a kid watching YouTube. They're not just gonna eat junk food because they see me do it. They need the moolah. So anyways, I used to love looking at the ads, seeing what's out there, imagining myself, one day I'll have a Game Boy, one day I'll have a big screen TV, you know, just looking at it. Well, by the time I, was I in seventh grade or eighth grade? I think seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> there were advertisements for Kohl's and some other clothing stores. Definitely Kohl's. And they always had the bras and underwear section and the women were, you know, this bra's on sale for $29.99. I don't know how much bras cost. And I used to, because my parents would like get them, read them, and recycle them. I would take them out of the recycle. And I used to, um redraw because i'm an artist <laughs> i used to like trace their bodies redraw their booties redraw their breasts and trace them and then um well you can figure out the rest i used to really enjoy looking at the ads with the ladies um showing off the bras and i still like ladies in bras um or i would imagine what's underneath sometimes they're pretty sometimes they're not it's just like d's sometimes they're, pre sometimes they're pretty and sometimes they're not but, yeah, it was hard to know because I also like girls. And I still like girls. I like guys way more. Um, I'd say, if I had to be honest and choose a percentage, I would say 70 guys, 30 girls. 70, 30. Yeah. So three days out of seven days, if I'm thinking of other things or looking at other things, Passing time while husband's asleep. 30% of the time, it's to girls. Yeah. I'm being honest. Hmm. 35% maybe. I don't know how to put a number on it, but it's... One third. Is that one third? No. Uh, when did you start catching feelings for your husband? He he he. I started catching feelings for my husband a year after we met. We had lived together as friends. We traveled to Mexico and Guatemala and I just fell in love with him. Like I would look at him and get aroused. And um, there was this one time when, oh, this is such a cute story. We were in Mexico. We were in a town called Chetumal. Any guys live in Chetumal? And we were there to try the avocados. Literally, we were hunting for avocados. We were the avocado hunters. We lived off them. We would eat like five a day. We would eat papayas and pineapples and bananas and we were vegans and very, very skinny, but um, we loved the avocados. Mexico has some great greasy, oily avocados. Mm. And I remember um, we went out to the market. Something had happened. Oh, that's right. I, um, we were back into our hotel room and we were just friends. We shared the bed. We slept facing opposite ways. Um, we were just friends, but we had been traveling for a long time together. We never expressed interest in each other, either one of us. But anyways, I remember we got back to the hotel and I told him, I, I, I don't know why I would say this, but I told him, you know, you're so arrogant sometimes. Like you're so cocky and it just is bothering me. Because sometimes you can't see it. Everyone has their flaws. Orlin's an amazing person. He's a much better person than me. But that's one of his little things that at least gets to me. I think he um, he always has to be right. And I, t I expressed that to him. And he broke down in tears and started crying on the floor. Saying that he's not good enough. He was just trying to make me happy. Um, that he doesn't really have any friends. And um, that's when I went down next to him on the floor. And I'm like, well, I don't really have any friends either. So you can be my best friend. And I hugged him. And it was very, very hot, and we didn't have air conditioning, so our shirts were off. And we were just hugging on the floor, kind of sobbing about being arrogant. <laughs> we were like 17. How old was he? 18? 19? I don't remember. 18? I met him when he was 18. But anyways, um, and I got aroused. I didn't tell him. I kind of tried to hide it. 
I imagine if girls got aroused the same guys, the same way as guys, and they, you can't hide it. Well, they already have things projecting from their bodies, so they, they're, it looks like they're aroused at all times of day. <laughs> they're always bouncing around. And they always, see guys, we protrude from our bodies only certain during certain times. And like I said, if I eat ramen noodles, sometimes halfway, it's kind of stuck. But yeah, like, and I remember when he went to sleep, I went to the bathroom and I um, relieved myself thinking about that moment. Yeah, like he was crying and I just wanted to comfort him, but also fuck him. <laughs> it's true. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Listen, honesty is our policy on this channel. Speaking of crying, how does Orlin feel when you cry on camera? He doesn't really like it. Um, but I told him tough luck. Are you comfy with your new look now? <laughs> um, besides the double chin, I love, I love the bigger body, it's fine. I just don't like my double chin. Do a mukbang of Peruvian food. You know, Orleans, oh, shout out to, what's your name? Miguel, oh, hey, Miguel. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a dog, this is disgusting. Um, yeah, Orlin really likes Peruvian food. He's been asking me to do Peruvian food for a long time. He's like, can we do it? I was like, no one knows it, no, this is gonna get no views. He's like, let's do proving fit. And I'm like, okay, we'll do it for your channel. And I've told him like three times and he still won't do it. But he, I've never had Peruvian food. He likes Peruvian food. And uh, oop, have you ever been to Iceland? Hi, Inga. No, I haven't. And she says, and you probably can't give me a shout out because you can't pronounce my Icelandic name, but it would be fun to see you try. Okay, her last part's Inga, but her first name, I did skip it for a reason, girl. It's A-R-N-D-I-S. Arndis, A-R-N-D-I-S, Arndis, Arndis, Arndis Inga. <laughs> uh, how do you deal with negative people? Eastera, shout out to you. Um, well, I was dealing with a negative guy last night who said that what I do for a living isn't making change in the world and I'm just wasting my, you know, I'm selling my soul to the obesity gods. And I'm like, I was just like, okay, here's why. I'm confident with what I do. I'm happy. When you are happy with what you do and you live your life in confidence, the negative people can't really affect you that much. You know what I mean? It's like a big old locomotive going down the train tracks. And someone throws a rock at it. You're fat. It's going to bounce right off the big old steel locomotive and it's not going to make a, it's not even going to make a dent if it's lucky. That's right, sucker. People try to put a log across the rails to derail you, but you're going so fast and strong that you just knock you just knock the the log right off the tracks. If you're going strong and confident in your life, it takes something big to derail you. And then you're saying, well, why do you cry so much? Yeah, I don't know. We have to go back to therapy. If you weren't a mukbanger, what would you do? I'd be a counselor. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Can you pop your belly out more? It turns me on. Nina. I mean, maybe. Oh, someone left something very funny in my comments. They said, I should be an avocado for Halloween and my belly should be the pit. <laughs> Could you imagine that costume with my... <laughs> Yeah, the big bellies are in. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm okay with the 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 flabby bod. Nice fitting shirt. Perfect size for you. Thank you, Cole. Are you ever gonna do a meet and greet? Hi, Angela. Angelica. I'm not sure. Do you try Indian food? It's really good. Hi, Sativa. I've had like four or five Indian mukbangs. Check them out, but I don't film them film them very often. What's the co something's on my window? It's closed though, so. All right, well, I'm gonna start getting going. I feel like this video has been long enough. How long has this video been for? I feel like I've been talking for hours. 
Should I put not for kids in the title? I actually tried to use very clean terminology. Like a five-year-old's gonna go over their head. They won't even know, you know? Ugh. I'm a human. I'm a real life 30-year-old approaching. You know, I'm gonna talk about what it's like. Six and a half. Wait, hey Siri. What's the national average size for means. If you like, I can search the web for. Hey Siri, what's the national average size for penis? Yes. You bet you should know that. Sir Sorry, I couldn't find anything on the web. You're a you're a lying bitch. I can Google that right now. Average I think it's like five. It's five. Yep. Here's an interesting fact. 95% of women surveyed are satisfied with the size of their partner's beep in proportion to their body, while men are not sure of it. About 55% of men believe that they have a small beep, when in actuality, they don't. After studying 5,000 people flaccid length, oh, oh, average size, Germany. The average size is 5.1 when fully beep, and an average circumference of 4.6. See, that's where I'm like eight or not. We should we should measure this. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's like this. Like I put my whole hand. I can't even close my fingers. That's the difference for me. And before you say this is inappropriate, we look at girls' chests, oh well, yes, you, yes, we look at girls' chests all the, what's the difference? You can see them, there's no secret, you can see. This girl got big knockers, this girl got small knockers, this girl got some mini titties, this girl some got some big balloons. You can see them, They're, that's the first impression for most people, it's like, hi Sarah, nice to meet you, you look up, she got them small titties. <laughs> it's no secret everyone knows but for guys it's a secret and guys don't want to talk about it you look at the movies the girls are always taking their tops off and then even they'll show their in between down there you know and they'll show their butt but the guys oh they don't dare show theirs guys are more embarrassed about it that's what it said 95 percent of guys think they aren't big enough and most women think that no, most women are satisfied with their partners, even if they're a little smaller, or they're just average, and the guys feel that it's not good enough. Am I normal? The psychology, oh, see, there's a lot that goes into this. Excuse me, 15,000 participants, not 5,000. Researchers found that the average beep size, using a sample of more than 15,000 men, was 3.6 inches, when flaccid and 5.2 when beep. I don't know if I can say those words. The study is now is the study is now coming as a relief to men worldwide, confirming that the six inches average that's promoted on social media isn't is not even close to reality of what's out there. See, I've always said that too. I've always said. Um, no, Orland said that. Who said What am I talking about? Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, you always imagine it being way bigger and better. But, um, well, we all know about that Uber driver. <laughs> it's like an elephant trunk. But besides him, I've never seen anyone bigger than me in person. And yes, I'm above average but how many is out there above average and just because you see it on the internet or on your phones or in the stories or in the locker room the girls are saying oh my boyfriend david oh he was this long like 
it's glorified and it's also shown more. Like most people are willing to put themselves out there knowing that it's bigger. So all you see on the internet is big stuff. And there's people who prefer it smaller. Like me with girls' titties, I actually prefer smaller titties. I've always said that. Yeah, I do not like I do not like implants or augmented. To me, it goes. <laughs> and that it, it not excuse me, that sounds awful. I don't go ooh. I just worry about popping them. I don't know. <laughs> I just worry about like, or they bounce around and it like flies off. I don't know. I've always said I like them natural and smaller, you know? And the girls are, are trained in society that they have to be bigger, which is why they're putting stuff inside of them to make it bigger. It's, but look, I'm over here saying girls look better natural and how they really are. And then they're sub subconsciously thinking like, I have to be bigger to be accepted, to be wanted, to be, to be craved, to be worshiped. I have to be bigger and fuller. And same with the guys. <gasps> According to these 15,000 men surveyed, 95% of them think they're not good enough. And the women, excuse me, 95% of women like the sizes. They like the sizes. But what, I forget what the percentage was, but then most, the men didn't like the size. They felt like they had to be better. It's a weird psychology. Like you think you're not good enough. Even though, even if the person's saying, oh no, honey, you're great. Honey, I prefer it this way. Because sometimes too big is too much. You know, you can't even do anything with it. Won't go in here, won't go in there, won't go anywhere. Won't go any, it, it doesn't, doesn't go in. You know, so what's the point of it being that big then? You have to ask yourself. <laughs> Orlin wishes I was smaller. He said that to me many times. And I'm not even that big. Yes, I'm bigger than average, but it's not like the seven, eight, nine, ten, just monsters that people all want to be like. At least the guys. The guys all want to be bigger. Why? No one can fit it in anywhere. Here we go. Um, the average 17,000 participants in Poland and Austria, the average length was 6.1 which is a whole inch bigger than the United States. And I'm still slightly above that. See, the six is great. That's nice. Too big is too much. Where in the United Kingdom, it's 4.8. But the, here's the conclusion, the size even mattered. Here we go, look. In the same survey, women were asked how important the size was to them and a partner. The survey respondents were given three options to choose from. Very important, a little important, or not important at all. The overwhelmingly majority of females, 67.4%, so that's more than half, that's almost three fourths, said that the size was only a little bit important to them, but it wasn't a major concern of overriding importance of their choice of partner. Another 21% of females said that the size wasn't important at all, meaning that only 10% of women, one out of every 10, actually felt that the size was important to them when choosing a lifelong partner. That's reassuring. And I bet those 10% are going to change their mind as after they go around the world to see that their expectations are a little too high. Honey. And it's because of those songs. Eight inch pipe. I'm going to write that all night. Perfect size. Because I ain't tight. Like all these expectations that are in our music. Thinking that the best guys are supposed to have eight inches. I've never seen a guy with eight inches. And I've been with 15 people. Very, very attractive people. I've never seen a guy with eight inches. Besides the Uber driver. And the Uber driver was probably 27 inches for all I know. Outlier. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never, I've never seen anyone bigger than me. And I'm not saying that to brag. And I'm this much bigger than average. We're talking like half of an inch, not even. This is not, no. Eight inch pipe is going to make people commit suicide. Because <laughs> they're not big enough. <clears throat> Should you worry? Yeah, of course, they're saying. 
Oh, this is interesting. Instead, a better approach is to focus your time, energy, and effort on improving the aspects of your performance and appearance overall on your bodily form from what you have control over. Yeah, they're saying like healthy weight or putting junk in the trunk, make sure you're doing your squats, whatever. Um, from preventing hair loss from stress. <laughs> So people who are worried about doing, being too small are losing their hair. Do they have science to back this up? Oh, that's interesting. Let me click on images. Oh, worldwide. Oh, Poland has the biggest in the world. Excuse me, at least with this chart. Poland's number one, followed by Austria. Remember, they said 15 centimeters, which is about six. United States is five inches. United Kingdom, really? I've seen some big guys in United Kingdom. See, this is, all, this is all stupid. They even have graphs to show per state. How big is the banana per state? Do they say this about girls? Let's see. This is so weird. Boob size per state. The Atlas of Cups. Russia has the biggest greater than a D. The smallest are in Africa. Where is that? Bolivia, Uruguay, most, lots of African countries. Lots of Central America, China, all of the Asian countries are A cups. See, to me, that's, I like, I don't know. People have too much time on their hands. Look at these graphs. I'm shook right now, but here am I talking about the sizes per state. Girls are doing the, or boys are doing the same thing for boobs. Listen, we gotta go. I have to go. We have to go home. This is too much. I barely ate my food. I really actually, where I have to go is the treadmill. But thanks for joining me today. I probably should put in the title not for children, but if I do that, I don't get paid. Or if I do, it's very little amounts because the advertisers obviously don't like that. Oh, but I don't want the parents to hate me. You know what? This is not a children's show. I have never advertised as being on PBS or Nickelodeon. So if you have a problem with it, then you need to be a parent and don't make them watch my show. Without your adult supervision, you have to screen my shows before you show your 12-year-olds. Um, yeah, this wasn't really kid appropriate. I'm so sorry, but... I'd rather be myself and be honest than be fake and um, whatever. And here's the thing too, I could just still be myself, but just choose not to say it. You know, why do I have to say everything in my head? And the reason is because I don't take my medicine. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another eating show. Thank you so much for your time. Peace.